Okay, I'm recording it, Nori. Uh, the link will be provided later on, okay? Via Gmail? Uh, link will be provided by Gmail, yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So let me introduce myself as uh, already Bulululhai talked a lot about me. I did my honors and masters from Dhaka University. Then I did my second masters. I mean, masters in English language teaching from a private university called Presidents University. I work for South East University as a director of career services office. Also, I am known as a public speaker, trainer, career coach, as I do have the affiliation in this field. If I share some of my credentials, you can see uh, the first program I conducted. The first program I conducted uh, three years back in 19, I mean, 2017 at KIB with the participation of 1,000 participants. You can see the picture. That was workshop on communication skill. I, uh, this is the event at SAST, Shah Jalal University of Science and Technology, the participa participation of 1,600 participants. It was at BAU, I mean, Bangladesh Agriculture University, Maiman Singh, with the presence of 2,000 participants. It was at Kumilla with the presence of 100, 1,100 participants. In 2017, I was invited to a program organized by Bangladesh Rovery Scout. I had to cover 6,000 participants. You might have heard about Rovery Scout. So that was ultimately my turning point to come to this career coaching or in public speaking arena because that worked as a catalyst for me to come to this field. Okay. Yeah, in 2018, I was also invited by Rover Scout in Gajipur and I covered near 4,500 students. I tried my level best to serve. As I told you that in 2017, when I was invited by Rovari Scout in um, Gopal Ganj to talk in front of 6,000 students. So there I felt, because when I got the invitation, I prepared myself for one month. I prepared slides, I read books, I created materials and I brought them. But when I went there, Actually, before I went there, I did not have any idea about Rover Scout. I thought, okay, that would be a fancy auditorium with air conditioner. I mean, uh, auditorium and PowerPoint slides, blah, blah, blah. But when I went there, I found that, okay, it was open field. Even first day, I had to cover 2,000 participants without mic or microphone. So that was the first shocking uh, incident for me. When I covered 6,000 participants in three days, after my each session, people used to come to me and ask me a lot of questions about their career entry strategies. Those who are privileged, like you are staying in Dhaka City and you are working in different companies, you, are, you started in good institutions. So you are privileged enough to have a lot of speakers, trainers, um, I mean, uh, to join, to participate there. But consider the students from a madrasa, the students from Polytechnic Institute, the students from Degree College, like uh, uh, Bhola, Noakali, uh, Rangpur, Kurigram, and people from these localities, when they came here, basically, I was invited to show them their career path so that they can prepare themselves for the future. But shockingly, I found they didn't have single idea about goal setting, about the career journey, about the reality of job market. So that was the moment I decided that, okay, I need to do something for these people. 
So when I came back to Dhaka, I decided to do something. I created a platform called Career Coach. And from that platform, I visited most of the divisions of Bangladesh. I have talked in front of 80,000 plus people till then. So this is the picture of a college I visited in uh, most probably it was um, Foritpur, no, not Foritpur. Uh, I forgot the name of that district. I mean, uh, the institution name was Sheikh Hasina uh, College. Yeah. So, and also I have involved with uh, different corporate training. Yeah, that was part of different training. I do consultancy with them, with large multinational banking, non-banking financial institutions. So I do train them about communication, about uh, the functioning skills where they communicate with their peer co-worker, business English as well. Uh, yes, if you want to become a public speaker, you need a platform. You need a platform where you can practice on a regular base, basis. If I ask you, when was the last time you got the chance to give a talk for five minutes? I believe for most of you, that wasn't possible for you in last one month to give a talk more than five minutes with your preparation. So what you need, if you want to become a good speaker, public speaker, good presenter, you need to, you need to practice on a regular basis. So where you can practice, you, you cannot go anywhere and give a talk. Okay, you need a platform, fine. Green HR, that could be one of the platforms because uh, from tomorrow they are going to start their I mean, they're going to relaunch their regular meeting in the morning. So if you go there, you'll be asked certain questions regarding uh, your book reading. So you'll be able to share your experience. So through this sharing process, basically you develop. And I'd like to also invite you to be a, a platform of Toastmasters International. We call it, I mean, it is known as the largest platform in the world where you can practice your communication skills, your leadership skills, and your presentation skills. So yes, I am part of Toastmasters International and in 2020, I became champion from Bangladesh in a speech evaluation contest. So that is the picture from there. So as I shared already with you in last two years, I have covered, I mean, I gave a talk in front of more than 80,000 plus people. If I count online audience, that, I mean, that should be more than eight lakhs people because just day before yesterday, I gave a talk and uh, the video was viewed by 17,000 people. Uh, just uh, one, uh, just 15 days back, I gave a talk. That video was viewed by 10,000 people. So if I, uh, I mean, consider the online speech, and I tried my level best to transform people, I mean, live. So that would be eight lakhs plus. I did not count that. That was live audience. Okay, that was all about me. Actually, why did I uh, take that much time to introduce myself? Do you have any idea? Uh, uh, just if you have any idea, you can uh, just unmute yourself and share. Why did I take that much time to introduce myself? Anyone? That's great. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Kanis Fatima, for your wonderful answer. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Shahid as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, Welcome. that is the ultimately uh, very vital thing as a speaker. You need to create your own credential. You need to create your own reason. You need to create your validity. Why should people listen to you? Why should people listen to you? You need to create that credential in the beginning. So as a speaker, it, is, it, is, uh, it depends on you that whether you fail to create that credential that people should listen to you or not. So I try to show you my affiliation with public speaking presentation skills, 
with that, yes, I'm a writer as well. So I have written a book on communication skills. I have written a book on presentation skills. In last book, Fear, I have published a book. My, one of the books was published that was uh, communication skills. So that book was in best-selling category. I mean, the first one was from Ayman Sadiq, Communication Hack, and second one was my communication skills. So uh, yes, these are my credentials, affiliations that, okay, I do have the valid experience working with public speaking, presentation skills. Now I'm the right person to share the ideas. How can you develop your public speaking skills, right? Fine, so let's start. Uh, as I told you, the session will be interactive, so I need your active participation. How many of you heard the term glossophobia? You can write on chat, but at this moment, it's impossible for me to see the chat uh, as I'm sharing. Uh, what you can do, you can unmute and talk. And one more thing, if you want to become a good speaker, and this is also per, part of your personal branding. Like if you are working at this moment for a company, in, you are in a meeting or you take, you take part in, an, uh, in a meeting where you can showcase yourself. You need to talk. You need to have the idea about that program so that you can ask questions. You can take part, I mean, uh, you can participate. If you talk, actually you can brand yourself. You can showcase yourself. So. Yes, this is an opportunity for you as well. You can unmute yourself and talk. How many of you heard the term glossophobia? What is glossophobia? Do you have an idea? If you have, you can unmute yourself and share. I think uh, glossophobia is the fear of uh, uh, public speaking. Fear of public speaking. That's great uh, for, your, for your wonderful sharing. Yes, anyone else? Glossophobia means speaking in front of the many people. Fine. Without fear. Uh, right? I think glossophobia means speaking to a lot of people. Speaking to a lot of people. Fine. Anything else? Phobia related to expressing. Mm -hmm. Glossophobia means speech anxiety. Speech anxiety, fine. I need more answers. Afraid of, afraid of speaking in uh, public. Afraid of speaking in public. That's great. Anything else? Fine. Uh, the statements you have shared, all are correct. Yes. Glossophobia means fear of public speaking. When we have nervousness, when we have anxiety, when we have fear when you get scared of speaking in front of people that might be uh, speaking before one to I mean with one partner or in front of 200 or 2000 people if you have that nervousness there are certain things if you think that you do have that means you have glossophobia why if uh, you have loss of voice I mean suddenly that happens right when you try to talk, but voice doesn't come out. Yes, you do have glossophobia. <laughs> There's a kind of sound in your heart, heart pounding. You do have glossophobia. Handshaking, that uh, when you want to hold something, you cannot, because you do have that nervousness, glossophobia. If you are given a chance to write, you cannot write because your, your hands are shaking. Forehead sweats, yeah. If your name is announced, see, dry mouth, it occurs. It occurs with many people that uh, we cannot talk. Our tongue get dried. Stomach hurts, yes, butterflies inside your stomach. I know one of very good speakers that whenever he goes somewhere to give a talk, vomiting comes out. So it takes one hour to prepare himself then when he starts the session, yes, he is a wonderful person. Okay. And last one, shallow breathing. Yes, we do have that one, shallow breathing. Okay. Fine. These are part of glossophobia, as you have. Let's see, today we're going to cover this thing. Uh, a lot of things we're going to cover today. 
I would like to make some of you co-host uh, so that you can mute people, those who are not speaking. Because sometimes uh, we uh, are not that much careful about mute, unmute things. Like when I talk, I can unmute. But when I'm not talking, I shouldn't unmute. Okay? Uh, if uh, anyone is from computer with his yeah. computer, so uh, I can make him co-host so that he can at least control. Because when I want to mute you, my concentration goes somewhere else. Fine, uh, as Bulha is not from his laptop today, so that is why we will have that problem. No worry. So let's start directly our session. There are four types of communicators. Consider yourself in one place, which one you are. See, you have knowledge, like uh, you have relevant degrees, you read a lot, you do have training, but the problem is you cannot present. How many of you are here like this? That you have a lot of things inside you. You know things, but you cannot present. A lot of people might be here, right? Like this. Like you are from HR community. So you, a lot of, you know a lot of things about HR. You know a lot of things about career development. But when you are invited to share in front of people, you cannot. So, yes, you do have knowledge, but you do not have sharing skills. Second category. You do not have that much knowledge, but you are a very good presenter. You will find a lot of people, especially our political leaders, they do not have much thing inside themselves. But when they start talking, they talk. They talk like garbage. Whatever the topic, doesn't matter. They can talk. Even you will find some of your colleagues, leaders in front of you, that they don't have much knowledge I mean, they are not that much studious, but they talk. They talk on anything. Third category, yes. They do have specific knowledge, but they cannot share. And third, last one, they do have a specific knowledge and sharing skill as well. So for qualities, no specific knowledge, no sharing skills, no specific knowledge, yes. Very good in sharing skills. Very good knowledge. I mean, you have a specific knowledge, but no sharing skills. Finally, both sharing skills and knowledge. Now, consider yourself where you can put yourself. First one, second one, third one, fourth one. I need your active fourth. answer. Fourth. Fourth. That's great. Congratulations. Fourth one. Fourth one. Fine. Congratulations. And what about others? Third one. Third one. Specific knowledge, but you cannot share. Fine. So that is where we'll be working today. Like, how can you share your ideas? How can you become a public speaker? How can you become a good presenter? Let's start. I would like to start with the code from Benjamin Franklin, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. It is very important, like if you want to become a public speaker, you need to prepare about your session. Like uh, our today's session was fixed one month back. So I had that one month time to prepare myself for today's session. Though, I mean, I didn't have to do much just I cut add I just cut and added some slides and I made it to share with you. But if you want to become a successful presenter, if you want to really impress through your presentation, through your expression, you need to become, I mean you need to prepare yourself well ahead. You need to rehearse on that. Yes, really want to that. Work on that, okay? Why do you want to improve your speaking and presentation skills? If you feel shy or stressed to speak in front of people, yes. When you face a crowd, does your mind suddenly go blank? Already we have seen that. You are beginner or average, but you have a great desire to become a confident speaker. 
yes, the workshop is for you. If you notice people getting distracted while you speak, you want to know how to capture and hold their attention. Yes, the workshop is for you. If you are not sure about what is specific steps or techniques you should master in order to become a persuasive, persuasive and charismatic speaker, that means the workshop is for you. So let's start the first thing, preparation stage. Identify purpose of your speech. So what sort of a speech you are going to deliver? Are you there just to give a lecture to inform your people? So that would be a different type of your lecture. Are you there to persuade them to take a decision? That would be different types of lecture and presentation. Are you there to entertain like Navid Mabu? That is different. Humorous speech. To call to action, are there for a sales call that you want to, you want uh, people to take certain decision on, I mean, their own money or other things. So that would be different. Are you there to give a business presentation, a formal one, suited, put it. So first, I did define the purpose of your speech based on that you can prepare. So what is the first thing? Identifying the purpose of your speech, whether you are to inform them, to give a lecture, to persuade them, I mean, to influence them, to entertain them, to call to an action, to give a business presentation. That is important. Like for me today, this is a kind of workshop. So I need your active interaction. So I want to as well persuade you, persuade you to, um, uh, I mean, buy my book, persuade you to, Join my training programs in future. Persuade you. Okay. Second thing, you're still we are in preparation stage. Analyze audience and occasion. So you need to understand who are your audience, and what is the event, what is the purpose of the event. So today, I mean the event was created one month back. So today, those who are here, you know the event, I mean, goal, you know, the content, you know, what would be the discussion because you saw all of speaking. Those who are here, you want to develop your public speaking skills. You are here to develop your presentation skills. You are here to become a better communicator. You are here to become a better public speaker, presenter, right? So I know same kind of audience are here. So my slides, my presentation is all about that. So as a speaker, when you have a call to talk or you have a presentation, that is important thing, who are your audience? So first thing, try to collect this information, the demographics of your audience, who are they, their ages, their education background. Once you know their education background, once you know their age level, once you know their social status, that will help you prepare yourself in a better way. Second thing, what do you already know and need to know? I mean, the level, the competency level of your participants. If you know, you can have a better session over there. And third thing, attitudes, beliefs, values. So that based on that, you can prepare yourself for an interactive and effective session. With that, you can also understand the occasion, the purpose of the event, what is the purpose of the event. If the event is uh, for a startup, so you cannot talk about the job. So you need to be there to set some examples about your startup history or about your experience of a business, entrepreneurship. So yeah, a lot of workshops are organized in Dhaka City. We saw that people are giving talk over there, those who did not have the experience of a startup or entrepreneurship journey. So that is a kind of conflicting, I mean, interconflicting thing. So you need to know the purpose of the event and you need to know the purpose of inviting you over there. Are you there to give a talk to motivate them? Are you there to give a talk for, I mean, as a lecture or workshop? So you need to know the event and how long do you have the time so that you can prepare well about that. Okay, any, any question with this slide? So this is the preparation stage. I mean, analyzing the occasion, 
analyzing your audience so that you can prepare better. Second thing, select a topic. What should be your topic? What should be your subject to talk about? Yes, that is also important thing. Why is that? Because, uh, okay, we know that these days digital marketing on a content creation is password. Truly speaking, I don't have basic idea about content creation. I do not have idea about digital marketing. marketing. If you talk about IT startup, I don't have any idea about that. But I do have idea about communication, public speaking, leadership, so emotional intelligence, because these are the things I do practice. NLP, so I am starting with these, but I don't have any idea about IT startup. I don't have any idea about digital marketing, social media marketing, content creation. So as the buzzwords and people really, after pandemic, people really are interested to learn about these digital marketing. Should I go for that topic? Of course not. So I call it that your topic or your subject to talk should be the combo, I mean, combination of three things. Number one, what you know well. You are pro version of that. You are master on that. Whenever you talk, you just start talking. You don't have any idea to give examples. You don't have any idea to share statistics from your head. Even if the electricity doesn't work, doesn't matter because you have a lot of things inside you on that topic. Like, I don't need slides. A lot of live programs you can see from YouTube and Facebook that I gave talk without slides. When I start talking about communication, leadership, public speaking, I just start because I did have research on that. I know things. I'm pro version of that. I'm the person to talk. I'm the authentic person to talk about that. Okay. Fine. Don't uh, <laughs> give me tick mark because that uh, distracts some, some other else, okay? Second thing, what you love. First one, what you know, your pro version, your master on that. Second thing, what you love, you are passionate about to talk. Like, uh, okay, I do research on presentation, communication, leadership. I mean, that's self-development, personal development things. So I love to talk on that. Same thing, if you do not love a topic and if you study, and if you give a talk, of course, you'll not be able to become successful. The third thing, what your audience cares about. Fine. Okay, today I'm here to talk about public speaking skills, but people are here with an expectation that if they join to this topic, they will learn certain things about digital marketing, or they will be able to learn something about content creation. They will be able to learn uh, something about emotional intelligence. If your expectation and my content do not match, it is not possible for you, uh, for me to engage with you, to give my best to you, to make an effective and interactive session. So in a nutshell of this slide, if you want to, I mean, become a, if you want to, uh, I mean, uh, present an effective presentation or a speech, your topic, your subject should be the combination of these three. What you know well, very well, you're a master on that, pro version of yourself, what you really care, um, love, you're passionate, you do have passion, without money you can do that. Yes, I have given talk on, uh, in front of 80,000 plus people without money. Even sometimes, I mean, the organizers were not able to give me uh, that uh, ER ticket, they just send me uh, the bus ticket or other things. So I purchased my ear ticket for my own pocket. So I did have that passion. I do have that passion to talk, to work with you, to be engaged with you. So you do have that passion. And finally, your audience cares about that subject or topic. If you have that combination of history, of course, it is going to be a wonderful presentation and session. Any question on this slide? If we do not have, it's more. Yes, number four, 
for preparation stage, research that topic. Research means not only limiting yourself by Googling, rather try to uh, learn some articles on that. So once an article is an article is published, that person minimum that person read 20 to 25, 30 articles and a lot of books. So that is research article. If you can read two, three, four, five, six, seven research article, so you can enrich your knowledge. Try to read some books on that topic. Once you read books, it means you do have vast knowledge. You do have a lot of stories to share. You do have a lot of statistics, examples on that topic to share. Not only the, I mean, uh, knowledge on the particular topic, rather other elements. And uh, also try to write, write something. If you write an article, yeah, you need to think a lot, you need to read a lot, you need to study, then you can write. Once you write a book on that topic, one thing I said that, okay, do not stand up to give a talk until and unless you can write a book on the topic. So once you can write a book on the topic, I mean, at least you do have that knowledge. Okay, you don't need to be a writer, but if you have that knowledge that you can write a book on that topic, so you are more confident the speaker, whatever the questions come on the topic, you can answer on that, okay? So ultimate goal is to talk these things to influence, to inspire you to read on the topic, to study in depth, dig down on the topic so that you can become master through a version of that, okay? Let's move on, become an expert on your subject before you speak, yeah, it is important. Never stand up with incomplete, outdated, wrong and misleading information. Be careful about that. Okay, preparation is stage is steel. You need to craft your speech. Yes, it doesn't, I mean, we are not acquainted with this thing. Without crafting our speech, what we do, we just go there and deliver. If it is not a PowerPoint presentation, okay. If it is a PowerPoint presentation, fine. It is a good thing that at least you have a chance to study, prepare a slide, read, and write on such things. But if you do not have the option to prepare your PowerPoint slide, uh, yes, mostly what I have found, hardly one or two people that those who really write their speech and deliver. What we do, without crafting our speech, we go and deliver. So what happens? Most of the events we participate and uh, after two or three minutes, people start talking, taking selfie, chatting, or sleeping, or be engaged with himself with their smartphone. It is you as a speaker, you need to create the impact. You need to hold your audience to be with you. How can you do so? If you can really craft your speech. So, while crafting a speech, you need to consider three things. Number one, attractive intro. Number two, engaging body. And number three, impactful conclusion. See, the power of words, attractive intro. What is that? So in the beginning of your speech, you need to create a valid reason why your audience should listen to you next 10 minutes or next half an hour or next two hours. It is you as a speaker. You need to create that reason, valid reason, that why your audience should listen to you. So how can you uh, create an attractive intro? In the beginning, you can gain attention. There are certain ways you can gain attention. Um, I'm sorry that today I'll, be not, I'll not be able to cover whole things. How can you start your, uh, at least I can share that, okay, while uh, starting your uh, presentation or speech, you can ask certain questions. See, today, how did I start my presentation? Before I entered my main lecture, I tried to, I mean, uh, have conversation with you in different topics. First, I asked you questions. I shared myself, I mean, my credentials. I asked you about glossophobia. I uh, showed you the whole list that I'm 
uh, trying to cover today. So I created a kind of book or expectation that these are the things will be covered today. So like this, in the beginning, we need to create that credential. In the beginning, you need to gain that attention of your people, of your audience, so that they uh, can uh, expect something. They can stay with you till the end. Establish credibility. See, I asked you, why did I share my credential with you? So you need to establish that credibility. You are the right person to talk about that topic because you do have that credential. You do have that affiliation. So establish that credibility in the beginning so that you can get the attention. Relate speech to the listeners. I mean, it, your audience cares about that topic. So how can you do so? I mean, why your participants are there? What happens like for corporate training for one day or two days training, what do we do? We do training need analysis, we call it. So training need analysis, I mean, TNA. What do we do? We collect information of our participants and we form our, I mean, expected participants that want to expect from my training. Yes, uh, I have found, got your number from your HR and uh, I formed you to know your expectation from my training because you know that next uh, uh, Friday we, uh, we are going to have a training and uh, I'll be your trainer. So what is your expectation from that training program? So when I ask at least one or two points I get from that particular participant. So if I ask 15 people, 30 people, 20 people, I do have the 20 or at least 15 to 20 expectations. So if I can answer that 20 or 15 expectations, that is the ultimate thing. So that, that my whole training, I mean my day long training might not be related, but at least that five minutes or 10 minutes answer of that particular expectation can be related. So that particular per person get more interested that, okay, it is related to my expectations. So as a speaker, you need to know the expectation of your audience based on that you can deliver, okay? Preview, like for us today, I mean, this training program, those who are the participants who are here with an expectation that you'll be able to, become a good speaker after completing this session. At least you will have uh, the certain ideas of public speaking or presentation skills or communication. Preview topic and main ideas. If you share that these are the things we are going to cover in the beginning, so you can create an expectation among your audience. You can create, uh, I mean, minimum uh, a kind of uh, glue in the beginning that these are the things are going to be covered. If you can create that expectation as well as interest among your audience, so we, I mean, they will stay with you till the end, okay? So these are the ways actually you can uh, craft your speech, especially your introduction part. So how can you do so? Uh, let's see, you, we may cover if we have time at the end. Then speech crafting, the body. Yes, determine main points. What are the points you are going to cover? You need to work on that. Of course, you have sub points and sub sub points. Did up mind the examples you have? There are certain ways you can present your presentation or you can deliver your speech. It depends on what sort of speech you have. If you are there to persuade them, if you are there to give a business talk, if you are there to uh, inform certain things based on that, you need to I mean, structure your presentation. Today, I'm going to share two structures. Uh, one is problem solution structure. That is important. Those who are working in different corporate, that might help you uh, to deliver your speech if you do so. And classic story structure. Uh, if you want to become like Suleiman Shukran, like motivational speaker, you see that might help you. So number one, uh, when you are persuading an audience. So when you are persuading an audience, you can use that structure. Number one, show a problem. For example, unemployment is one of the major problems in Bangladesh. Do you believe so? Of course. Unemployment, yes. A study was conducted by British Council Economist Intelligence Unit with the help of World Bank. And it shows that near 47% Bangladeshi graduates are unemployed. 
and uh, you know uh, and you know uh, just uh, the fa- i mean uh, just in prothom alo published an article from band base that uh, near 28 lakhs bangladeshi people are unemployed at this moment so huge unemployment on the other hand there was viral you might have seen on social media that uh, the viral was uh, all about uh, uh, a daily based newspaper published an article that bangladesh became for remittance generation source for india have you seen that article you might have heard on social media and even few days back our honorable prime minister uh, in the parliament showed her concern about indian workers i mean uh, with visa without visa the number of indians are working in bangladesh and truly speaking i'm not against indians i'm not against sri lankans and you do work in different corporates and you have pretty good idea how many foreigners are working in bangladesh especially in textile industries and you are working hr i do work at south asian university in placement department so i do have very good relationship with you people with hr i am member of bangladesh hr club i am member of old i was member of bshrm uh, and while working with you people, I mean, HR community, uh, even I invited a lot of HR leaders in our university, and I asked them a few questions, that why you people do recruit foreigners, like people from India, people from Sri Lanka, why don't you recruit our own graduates? A huge number of graduates are unemployed in Bangladesh. They do have a common answer. Even I can give an example that one of the multinational companies in textile industry, if you rank it one, one to three, and uh, yes, one of the three top three companies, I do not uh, want to mention the name. 85% of their employees are Indian. 85%, but I mean, multinational company, they're functioning in Bangladesh, top one to three. If you rank, one of the three companies, 85% employees are Indians. Now, if you ask them how they recruit, of course, as they do have foreign employees, they recruit people, those who can, first quality, those who can really speak English, very good English and can draft well. Now, Problem solution structure, like I would like to persuade you for one thing. I consider myself as the Saifur Rahman, I mean, from Saifurs. Now I would like to sell my English course to you. My dear friends, 80s, I mean, 47% Bangladeshi people are not getting job. 28 lakhs unemployed. Bangladesh became fourth remittance generation source by India. So companies are not recruiting Bangladeshi graduates, rather they are recruiting Sri Lankans and Indians. Why? Because they need people who can sell their product. They need people who are competent enough, skilled enough. And the first skill you need to be recruited is your linguistic proficiency. You need to be mastering in English language. I mean, very good in English language, especially while speaking and writing as well, if you want to have the job. And that pandemic made the situation worse because the world we saw six months back and the world at this moment, my goodness, my friend, totally different world. And if you want to become survive, you need to be different, exceptional. You need to be competent enough skilled enough if you want to survive so how can you survive the first thing you need to be skilled in english language see unemployment issue i showed the problem i made the problem in a big issue and the solution is here i'm going to offer a course on english language that will make you a fluent speaker, wonderful writer, a competent communicator. 
and the course fee is 10,000 taka. But for today, I'd like to offer 50% discount. How many of you are interested? Okay, 70% discount or 80% discount. How many of you are interested? So if I can motivate, I mean, two, three, five, ten 10 of you, that means I am a good speaker here. I made a problem. I showed a problem. I made the problem a big issue. I solve it. That is action step. At this moment, if you register, you will have 80% discount. So as a Saipur Rahman, the owner of Saipur's, yes, I have become successful as a persuasive speaker. Okay, the same thing, like if you want to become a good salesperson, you need that action step. So these are the structure you can follow as a public speaker or as a presenter while persuading someone to do something. Okay, any question with this structure? If you do not have, let's move on. If you want to become Suleiman Shukhan, like motivational speaker, you can follow this kind of classic story structure. I mean, sharing story, there are wonderful ways to share. First, make a plot of the story. Second, find a hero. Of course, you need a hero. Make your audience be emotional. Go to the main motivation. So these are the ways actually all the motivational speakers all the, in the world, they do deliver their speech. If you want to motivate, you need a plot of the story. You need a hero to find. Make your audience become emotional. Go to the main motivation. For example, in the year 2018, I went to Silet to give a talk. That was my second talk at SAST. Uh, we, few people from Dhaka went to Silet and they published it very widely. What happened? The capacity of SAST auditorium is only 60, uh, 1,500. If they add additional chair, that could be 1,600 maximum. But that registration, I mean, they made, I mean, they took money, 500 taka, but the registration was uh, 2,400, near yeah, double. And these people, of course, it is not possible to accommodate all these people. That will be chaos. But uh, we uh, flew in the morning, uh, I mean, at night, uh, we reached, we were at hotel. So uh, they came to us, asked the decision, what uh, we said, they asked, okay, divide the whole session in two segments. In the morning, if there are students of class 10 and below 10, or I mean, below university level, ask them to come in the morning. And professionals and university students, ask them to come in the evening, I mean, afternoon. And what we did as we were from Dhaka, uh, we went out, uh, okay, in the morning you can, uh, I have your session with local speakers and we want to enjoy the silhouette. We went out to enjoy the tea garden and other things. And after lunch, when we reached the auditorium and my session was at four, that was a kind of emotional thing that uh, during my presentation, I asked the question and one of the participants raised his hands. I asked him to come to the stage and he was with his wheelchair. It was impossible to uh, I mean, invite him to the stage, but he came to the phone and he shared that, sir, you are coming from Dhaka. I heard it and I got registered. I'm from Molubi Bazar and uh, I came here early in the morning because I started after saying my project here, after taking that snacks, I, breakfast, I came here. I did not have money to take the lunch, but I did not want to miss your session. So I came here in the morning. I enjoyed the morning show without lunch. Still I'm staying because I want to listen to you. I uh, watched your different videos on YouTube. Believe me, that person with wheelchair came from Monovi Bazaar to Silet to watch to see, to hear my speech, 
Now, what I did, I came from Dhaka, but in the morning I wasn't there. I went to enjoy the tea garden. So that kind of, I mean, self-conflict inside me. And that motivated me to go again and again to these people. A touchy story in my life. So these are the things. See, I shared a true experience from my life. So I made the plot of the story. I found the hero, the boy, with that wheelchair from Molovi Bazar, all the way he traveled from Molovi Bazar to Silat to enjoy my speech. He did not have enough money to have lunch. So by saying those, I got emotional and I tried to make you emotional as well with my speech. And the final motivation is, if that person can travel that way, if that person can go there with wheelchair to learn few things, you are privileged enough. You do have hands, you do have legs, you do have money, but why don't you invest your money for the future so that you don't have any problem to face the real world? Why don't you invest on yourself? Why don't you make a routine that each day you read books? Why don't you make a routine that each day you watch a learning video from YouTube? Why don't you make a time and invest money to enrich yourself by taking part in different training programs? If I ask you, the pandemic time, you were locked down. How many of you invested money on yourself to face the real challenge when pandemic will be over? How many of you took part in different training programs? Very few. So my dear friends, that is the motivation. I think motivational speakers do like this. They share a story and finally they go to the motivation. Any question on that? So these two structures you may follow if you do have business talk or sales presentation, or if you want to per persuade, you can show, share the problem solution instructor, use the problem solution instructor. If you're a motivation speaker, you can use this classy story structure. Okay, finally the conclusion. So to conclude, summarize the main idea, relate the message to the listeners, meaningful closure or call to action. Yes, you must have that call to action. You must have a message in your conclusion, that one sentence message that is take out nugget for your audience. You must have that one. So a speech must be, you must have an intro that is engaging, attractive intro, a body with a story, with the statistics, data of maintaining a structure, and finally a conclusion with a message. If you have that speech, you are going to be a wonderful speaker and your session is going to be really a wonderful session. Okay, Bulufay, are you there? Uh, I would like to escape the other part of the speech. Uh, let's go directly. Jamaluddin, uh, 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 Dada. Yeah. I have. yeah. Yeah. Fine. How long do we have? Uh, you have uh, now uh, six Five minutes. No, 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 no. Half an hour. Half. Okay, half an hour. Fine. Yeah, yeah. My dear friends, uh, I talked a lot. Now let's practice together. Okay. If you want to be a good speaker, you need to work on certain things like uh, you need to work on your voice, your facial muscle. It happens like for me, when uh, I started my public speaking, I did have certain, some problems with my facial muscle. So what you can do, you can practice on a regular basis so that uh, you can work on that. You can sell gum, you can make sare gamma in the morning so that you can work on your voice. Also, you can... Uh, uh, there are some tongue twisters in Bengali in English as well. If you do so, if you have that kind of inertia uh, inside your mouth, or if your tongues are, you, if your tongue is really heavy to produce certain sounds, so uh, if you can practice, you can overcome those. How can you practice so? I mean, all of you are Bengali speakers here. You can practice it like this. Follow me, and uh, you can 
uh, imitate me as well. Paki paka pepe kai. So we, if you have any problem with your bilevel sounds, I mean oshtabhoni, so you can overcome those if you can practice. Paki paka pepe kai, 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 paki paka pepe kai. Like 10 times, 20 times in one breath. If you can do so, you will see that you don't have any problem with your uh, bilevel sounds. I mean, paki paka pepe kai, especially people from uh, Noakali, Chitangal region, Noakali, Feni, Lokipur. Yes, we do have problems. Like we cannot produce the bilevel sounds. Like uh, pa, we can uh, we cannot produce pa. We sometimes say pa or pa, like pagol nikona, hagol nikona, like this. So, yeah, uh, you can practice paki paka pepe kai, paki paka pepe kai. Uh, can anyone unmute yourself and try to make it? Anyone? Paki paka pepe kai. Paki paka pepe kai, 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 paki the other problem we have a different one yeah next one with your labiodental sound uh, inside uh, uh, that involves your uh, uh, tongue and other parts of the mouth okay i mean place of articulation jolechun taja tele chul taja 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 can you make it uh, brother Shafiqul Islam, not tele, it will be tele, a, a, not a, a, okay? Not jole, jole, jole chun taja, tele chul taja, jole chun taja, tele chul taja. Jole chun taja, tele chul taja, jole chun taja, tele chun taja. Fine. Is there anyone from Kulna region? Kulna division. I mean, Shatkira, Bagerhat, Kulna. Anyone? You can try. Jolichun taza, tere chul taza, jolichun taza, tere chul taza. Hi, thank you. Anyone else? Jolichun taza, tere chul taza, jolichun taza, tere chul taza, jolichun taza. Jolich, jolich, not jolich, 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 I'm from my missing. Jole chun taja, tele chun chun taja. Jole chun taja, tele chun taja. Jole chun taja, tele chun taja. Very difficult. Jole chun taja, tele chun taja. 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 Uh, yes, uh, uh, those who are from Shatkira, Kulna, Bagar Hadud, you have problem with jaw, chaw. Uh, we used to say saw, not chaw. So what you can do, if you can practice on a regular basis with this tongue twister, you will be able to uh, change yourself, like chaw, chaw. Jole chun taja, tele chul taja. Okay, let's do it another one. Yes, we do have real problem with uh, the people from Kulna division. Chata dancer, 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 chata Fine. So the video will be there. What you can do in future. So uh, yes, the written sentence will be there each day. If you really want to become a fluent speaker in Bengali, in English as well. So you need to work with your tongue twister. The I mean, uh, place of articulation is important while speaking. If you speak Bengali, and if you uh, cannot speak with the right place of articulation, so that is the problem ultimately. That is the problem to become a good speaker. So if you want to become a good speaker, you need to work on with your place of articulation. So still, like for me, when I became the uh, deputy director of Eastern University, then I realized even in 2016, 
I went back to Dhaka University and I got admitted to Abrikti Academy. And I sat on the floor, on the ground in TSC and uh, Dakshu area, and I learned the Bengali pronunciation. See, if you want to become a good speaker, you must improve your Bengali pronunciation. Fine. Later on, if you want to become a good speaker to influence people, of course, you need to be good English speaker as well. So you need to work on your English pronunciation as well. Like I uh, offered a course on art of speaking, incorporating four skills like Bengali pronunciation, English pronunciation, uh, presentation and communication. So those who joined there, at least they had basic idea of developing themselves. So hopefully in future, uh, I'm going to offer a course. I'm going to offer a course. So uh, Bulurha is working out of his speaking. Let's see if you are interested to join there. So the course will be incorporated. I mean, uh, it consists of four things. Number one, communication, public speaking, uh, Bengali pronunciation, and English pronunciation, I mean, the phonetics and phonology. So you can communicate with Bulul Bhai. Hopefully we'll be starting a match over there. Let's see. Okay. So Paki Paka Pepe Kai, Jolitun, Tata Teletun, Tata Jolitun, Tata Teletun, Chultada, Tata Tansa Trotta Tansona, Kata Trotta Tata Tata Tansa Trotta Tansona, Kata Trotta Tato. Still, if I do not practice and I try to talk, I do have problems while pronouncing some Bengali, some English words. So if you want to remove all the obstructions, if you want to become a fluent speaker, natural speaker, yes, you need to practice on a regular basis. Okay, any question on that? No, fine. Yes, in English as well, you can practice the tongue twister. Peter Pepper picked a pack of pickle papers. Did Peter Pepper pick a pack of papers? Did Peter Pepper pick a pack of papers? So these are the ways you can practice. Um, I love uh, Nuzrul. I love that Bidrohi Kavita. I mean, if you really can recite, that will clear your voice, that will clear your tone, pitch. You can improve that. Maha Bidrohi Ranuklanto, Ami Shai Din Havashanto, Jabut Piriteri Konjone Rola Kashe Batashe Dhoni Bena, Otta Chariri Kharogi Kripaane Bhimi Ranu Bhumi Aare Dhoni Bena, Bidrohi Ranuklanto, Ami Shai Din Havashanto. Once I recite the whole poem of Bidra, what happens after that recitation, <clears throat> when I try to speak, that might be English or Bengali, it doesn't matter. I do not have any problem with my place of articulation. So that's the magic. If I do have a talk, I try to recite the Bidra. So once I do so, after that, I don't have any problem. Like, would you have problem with our voice that, okay, there are people who cannot talk more than five minutes or 10 minutes. They do have some problems over there inside their throat. If you do practice on a regular basis, you will not have that problem, okay? How to deliver a presentation? Uh, yes, I have talked uh, about certain things. Let's see how to uh, open a session. You can uh, ask question. Asking question, very important thing. Once you ask question, see, like you are here. If I ask you a question, what happens? You start thinking the answer of that question, right? Once you think the answer of that question, that means I am able to engage with my session. You might uh, uh, come from different background. You might be busy with your personal life. You might be busy with your office and tasks. You might be busy with on, on traffic. But once I ask you question, that makes you busy finding the, I mean, find the answer of that particular question. That means I'm able to engage. So the powerful beginning is to ask question. Okay, one of the powerful beginning. You can state surprising fact, you can uh, give quotation, you can give examples, you can uh, tell a story. What about the things? You can start your present uh, session by this thing, okay? I use different ideas. I had different sessions that I started with quotation. Uh, a quotation from Martin Luther King. How many of you heard of Martin Luther King? 
a lot of people, right? Who was Martin Luther King? See question, sequence of questions. The president, the president. No, 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 he wasn't the president. He was a leader of the black people in the United black, States. Black. Okay, he was a leader of the black people in the United States. And he had that famous quote that I have a dream. I have a dream. Yes. His famous speech, I have a dream. One day my four children will live in a nation, but they'll not be just by their skin and color. Rather, they'll be just by their behavior, by their education, by their experience. That famous speech. When he delivered this speech, do you have an idea about the background of that speech? Just 50, 16 years back, in 1940, uh, 1948 to 1969, I mean, he had that movement against the discrimination. But those who were the black people in the United States, they were not allowed to see besides the white people. Like uh, in these days, we can enter any restaurant, we can see it uh, beside any people. But those who are the black people, they were not allowed to enter some restaurants and see it besides white people. In bus, there were, I mean, uh, seats on the front rows were vacant, I mean, fixed for white people. And black people used to go to the back and gather together. They were not allowed to see it. Ticket, I mean, Plain tickets were not sold to black people. They used to wait till the last moment when a white person comes and buys a ticket. There were some written sentences in front of garden that no dogs, no blacks. I mean, black people were treated like dogs. Against this discrimination and racism, Martin Luther King had a dream to do something constructive for the black people. And he gave this speech, I have a dream. One day my four children will live in a nation, but they'll not be just by their skin and color. Rather, they'll be just by their behavior, by their education, by their experience. He gave that speech. He was shot dead, but his dream wasn't. He had that dream, he had that dedication, determination, that is why after 50 years, as a representative of black people, Barack Obama became the president of the United States. That wasn't possible so easily because one person had a dream and others followed him. They had the determination, the education. For us, what happens? We see the dreams while sleeping. In the morning when we wake up, we can remember what we see. So you have to have the dream for yourself, what you want to be. You need to visualize your goal. You need to be focused on your next step. You need to have that dedication. Ebizi Abdul Kalam says, your dream will not let you sleep. So if you have a dream, you'll not be able to sleep unless and until you fulfill, unless and until you reach to your destination. So you must have that kind of dream. See how I started? I gave a quotation. I shared the story and I concluded with the final motivation that you must have a dream. You must have visual, you must visualize your goal and you must focus on your next step. So like this, when you deliver a presentation, when you deliver a speech, so you can start with a quotation. You can share, you can state a surprising fact as I shared with you as well. Like in different universities, I, I gave talk. When I went there and I talked, I shared. Um, just, I asked them different questions. Do you know how many private universities are in Bangladesh? Very less people have idea. 100 plus. How many public universities are there? 39. How many people complete their graduates each year from public and private universities? Do you have any idea? Two lakhs plus. Do you have any idea how many uh, students complete their graduation from national universities? Five lakhs plus. And each year, more than seven lakh people are completing their graduation. And they do have a common dialogue, common talk, common sentence. I want a job, we need a job. But the reality says 47% people will not get the job. See? how I related the whole thing. 
I started with a surprising fact. And then I shared. So you can start with that surprising fact. You can uh, give an example and start your presentation. Like in my different session I shared, like with a simple example. You know what, few days back I was reading an article from Business Insider. And Business Insider took an interview of, an, of a head of HR of a famous bank in Wall Street. And she asked us a question, based on what you recruit your new employees and you give promotion to your old employees. And she answered with two words, that is people skill. The other name of people skill is called soft skill. A study was conducted by Harvard University and Stanford Business Center that says, if you want to become successful in your career, 85% of your career success depends on people skill. And shockingly, only 15% on your technical skill. I mean, the certification you have from your university. And if you want to become financially successful, 85% of your financial success depends on the way you communicate, the way you negotiate, the way you lead your team. So communication, public speaking is important. People skill is important. And 15% is only on your technical skill. So if you want to become successful in your career, yes, you need to have people skill. And communication skill is called the mother of all soft skill, all people skill. And if you want to develop your communication skill, buy my book, Communication Skill. Join, do join my training program on communication skill, out of speaking. So see, start your session by giving an example and finally start persuading your audience. I mean, the way you speak, it matters. Tell a story. I do share a lot of stories. Yes. You need to be a very good storyteller if you want to become a good speaker. You need to be a storyteller. Okay. Uh, how many of you are here from, oh, uh, I mean, how many of you heard uh, the place uh, Dhub Kulamat? Many of you, right? It is in Old Dhaka. Yeah, near, near Narayan Yeah, Old Dhaka. Dhub Kulamat. So, you know, besides that Dhub Kulamat, there was a uh, slum. And a girl was born there. Her name was Shule Shati. When she was born, doctor told the family that she's going to be the burden for the family because she will not be able to talk, she will not be able to move, she will not be able to walk. So you do have two options. Either you can take her and suffer lifelong or you can just leave her here. We'll take care. Parents are parents. Can they leave their daughters? Of course not. They took her. Next 15 years, Shuli wasn't able to go to the washroom without getting assistance. She wasn't able to walk. People, neighbors, relatives started talking behind. Father wasn't able to bear it. One day, she came, she took Shuli, went to the Dhupkula field ground and threw her. Asked, walk. Walk? Shuli looked at father's face and she found father was crying. Shuli was crying too. That was the moment Shuli decided to try out. She tried to stand up, she failed. She tried again, she failed. She tried again, and finally she was able to stand up. She didn't give up. She tried to walk, she fell down. She tried to walk, she fell down. She tried again, she fell down. And it took six months. She was able to walk. She didn't give up. She didn't stop there. She took bird on behalf of Bangladesh in a, in a special Olympic and in a sprint. She became champion and brought gold medal for Bangladesh. That the girl, when everyone gave up, family members, relatives, 
parents, society, doctor, but that girl didn't give up. She tried and she made it. She became the pride of our nation. And she received the gold medal while when our national anthem was on there, she was crying while receiving the gold medal. You have hands, you have legs, you can see, you can walk, you can move, you can run, you can do everything, whatever you want. What are you afraid of? Why are you giving up? Why don't you try to achieve what you want? See, I shared this story. And when I share this kind of stories in the stage, I saw, I usually, I saw the pin drop silence among the audience. That happens. So storytelling is a very good technique. And if you want to become a good speaker, influence, uh, if you want to create influence through your speech, you need to be a good storyteller. Like Abdullah Busai, we love him. We love his speech. Why? Because he shares very little, little stories, interesting stories. He takes pause. He used vocal variety. He brought, I mean, he brings humor in his speech. That is important. Like that should be humorous. You need to be emotional. You need to use different part of your page. You need to take pause. See, these are important. So these are the ways you can start your speech as a speaker. So how to hook the audience, surprising fact, I'm not going to share those. Yeah, very wonderful studies here I'd like to share. I love to share. So one study was conducted by Albert Mehrabian and he conducted a study that says that uh, the content I'm delivering, that can impact, that can create impact on the seven person. But the way I'm delivering it, see, I use my vocal variety voice modulation, smiling face, expressions, eye contact, see my body language, that can cover 93%. Okay? So these are the things to unbubble part, like body language, eye contact, speech communication, handshake, facial expression, parallel language, appearance. So these are the part while communicating with your counter counterpart. So these are the non-verbal cues you can consider. So for body language, the posture, you might have heard the term posture and gestures. So posture means the way you stand, the way you see it. it, it this is called your posture. So that is important. So if you see coffee, with, I mean, if you have the idea about the coffee with Quran, you, I mean, coffee with Quran in Hindi, I mean, you know, Quran Jahar. So coffee with Quran. So what happens? The models uh, sit over there they sit in center points. I mean, they're more confident. I mean, different, different. So the way you sit, it matters, okay? You need to know how to sit. You shouldn't cross, you shouldn't uh, close posture, rather open posture. I mean, you should show your willingness, openness, friendliness while you sit. Even when you give a talk, you, you, when you stand, that should be center point. Center point means the center point, like that should be stand, you should stand in center point, very straightforward. If you can stand like this, of course, you look confident and you are confident, okay? The gesture, the way you use your hands, the way, way you move your head, these are the things. I mean, whole part of your body language, that is called gesture. So a movement of part of your body, especially your hand, head, express an idea, meaning, that should be related to your uh, vocabulary, what you use while expressing yourself, okay? Eye contact, while giving your speech, eye contact is important. So you need to maintain your eye contact. I'm not uh, taking time on that. Yes, facial expressions, you need to work on that as well. And the paralanguage part, 38% covers that one, like the volume, your, the tone, and pitch, pace, pause. Pause means you need to take meaningful pause. You shouldn't talk uh, random. Rather, when you take meaningful pause, you, that means you are letting your audience digest what you are trying to mean. The pace should be in a moderate pace, not that much fast, not that much slow that your audience gets slayed. No, 
<clears throat> rather a moderate pace that your audience can follow you your audience can understand you what you try to mean your audience can really uh, go with the flow of your speech pitch there are different parts of our pitch like lower pitch middle pitch upper pitch in bengali we call it udara mudara tara so that is important when uh, you have that vocal variety or voice modulation if if you can maintain that uh, can connect your audience more that attract your audience that engage with your audience that can mean your speech in a different way tone volume so what is the moderate vo i mean what is the moderate volume you need to talk you need to understand that thing so that you can talk okay so that was uh, uh, yeah a smiling face it is also important while talking smile is important so i think i am done with uh i don't have much time to talk so let's go for a question answer session directly so bulbul bhai if you are here uh what you can do you can follow me on facebook you can follow me on youtube i do have linkedin you be connect you can be connected so if you have any questions we can work together in future as well uh apnar uh, thank you jamaluddin jamil bhai oshadharon presentation ami bhitore baire thakar poro joto tuku parchi ekhane attend korar chesta korechi thank you so much আপনার প্রেজেন্টেশনের কথা তো বলা লাগেই না আশা করি সবার ভালো লাগছে যদি কেউ প্রশ্ন সবাই বলতেছে গ্রেড 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 আসলে গ্রেড গ্রিন এজার প্রফেশনালস বাংলাদেশকে যে আপনি টাইমটা দিয়েছেন আপনার প্রতি আসলে কৃতজ্ঞ আমরা সব সময় মনে করি আপনি আমাদের এই সাথে লোক সব সময় সব সময় টাইমটা দিচ্ছেন ভবিষ্যতেও দিবেন আমাদের সাথে থাকবেন আর যদি এর ভিতরে কেউ প্রশ্ন করতে চান অবশ্যই একটু যদি আপনি হাত উঠান আমি আপনার প্রশ্নটা নিতে চাই যে একজনের প্রশ্ন অন্তত নিতে চাই ইমেল অ্যাড্রেসটা আমরা চেক ইয়াতে শেয়ার করে দিয়েছি আসসালামু আলাইকুম বুলবুল ভাই হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ ওয়া আলাইকুম আসসালাম ভালো আছেন ভালো আছেন হচ্ছে <laughs> 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 ব্যাপারে একটা নেগেটিভ ইমপ্রেশন ক্রিয়েট করলো তাহলে এরকম প্রেজেন্টেশন না দেয়াই ভালো সো সাডেনলি ইনভিটেশন রিসিভ করবেন না সুযোগ পেলাম আর দাঁড়িয়ে বক্তব্য দিতে শুরু করলাম কি বলছি কাদেরকে বলছি তাদের টাইমটা ওয়েস্ট করছে কিনা এরকমটা করবেন না হোয়াট ইউ ক্যান ডু যদি এরকম হঠাৎ হয়েই যায় আমাদের ক্ষেত্রে হয় লাইক ইউনিভার্সিটি কাজ করি অসংখ্য ইভেন্টস হয় হঠাৎ করেই আমাদেরকে ইনভাইট করে So in that case, we have a prepared way to share at least 5-10 minutes. We have done a lot of work, so we have done a lot of work. What you can do, if you want to be a corporate person, if you want to be a hot hot position, you can be a meeting, you can be a hot hot position. So in that case, it is better to have a common way to share your skills, to have a inspired way to share. প্রিপেয়ার রাখা তাহলেই কেবল প্রিপারেশন নিয়ে আপনি সেশন নেবেন প্রিপারেশন না নিয়ে সেশন নিয়ে আপনার ব্যাপারে নেগেটিভ ইমপ্রেশন ক্রিয়েট করবেন না সো অ্যাকচুয়ালি আমার ব্যাপারে মানুষ যেটা জানবে এটার জন্য মানুষ দায়ী না বরং আমি দায়ী ছোট ছোট চয়েসগুলো আমি যেটা নেই আমি ধীরে ধীরে আমার ব্যাপারে যে ইমপ্রেশনটা ক্রিয়েট করি এটাই ধরে মানুষ আমাকে চেনে 
So preparation chara kotha udara pe na doctor bolte hai. Preparation nii udara pe. ठीक है सुबह हम आ second question टा भूले गए थे। हमार second question टा चिलो जब हमार personal एक टा problem हो जाए तो हमार जीवन समृद्धि के किसी ना जोड़ ताकत करे। जब तो वाले की रहा है। S जातियों शब्दों को लड़के थे। अच्छा S जातियों शब्दों को लोते S के S बोले पहले हमरा। भाई टा राष्ट्रीय अंशल मानव जराची हमारे लिए समस्या टा होए। हमार एक बार रॉनिक एक दिन स्पेंस लो दूसरे दिन स्पेंस लो चापाने वगैरह से। कौन भावे ताके I should go, I should go ये टा बोला थे पाँच चिल्ला अपना। अब आर उन नो जगह देखी शे शौके सौ बोलचे शौके शौ बोलचे ये रोको मार्की। तो ये जातु जब आपने कंटिन्यूअसली प्रैक्टिस करें, it is possible। आपने टंग ट्विस्टर टा करते होंगे। ताहोले प्राय दो ही पेज थोड़े अशुंग को शब्द दे आते शब्द गुलो की अमी नीचे लिखे लेके प्रैक्टिस करें चल जब मैं साकी बाल हासन बोला शुमार शाकी बाल हासन चले आते अब हासन बोला शुमार हासन चले आते अमन नीचे शुमार शब्द सऊदी बादशा सलमान देखें सऊदी बादशा सलमान एक तो लो ऐसे मोते एक तो शायर मो so, we have a tongue twister in the first page. We have a presentation skill. So, when we collect the tongue twister, we have to practice the tongue twister every day. We have to do the practice in the university. We have to do the first year. We have to do the first year. We have to do the first program. We have to do the first year. So, we have to do the auditorium in Bangla. We have to do the first year. We have to do the first year. अन बोलते होते हैं मिलन आते हैं जरा उपस्थित हैं ऐसे तादेक के शादर संभाषण बाइडर ने ऐसा सेंटेंस बोलते गिये थे ना एंड इट चुक थ्री मंथ्स फॉर मी टू प्रोड्यूस दैट पर्टिकुलर साउंड मिलन आया तो स्टील आई डू हैव प्रॉब्लम वाइल स्पीकिंग बेंगल इंग्लिश एक शादर जोखन बोलते थे तो खोन � पब्लिक की स्पीकिंग शो में कि भावे आमर ऑडियंसर अटेंशन टक क्या मैं कैच करूँ बा ऑडियंसर अटेंशन टक आरो अनेक बेशी कोरे पावो आमर दिखे। फाइन। ऑडी ऑडियंसर अटेंशन पर वन ऑफ द वेज हम तो अनेक गुले टेक्निक्स नहीं आज के इतने तो गोटा सेशन टाइम एरो करे चिलो। आपने के ऑडियंस कौन टा जानते चा� जो तो गुलो टेक्निक शेयर करो हम शॉप गुलो ही ऑडियंस एट्रैक्ट कर जो मतो आपने जो कोन एक टाइप स्टोरी शेयर करें तो स्टोरी शेयर करो शाम शाम भाई मनोजोग दिए शोने कारण तो कि कारण स्टोरी टा शून्ते पसंद हो गया दैट कनेक्ट्स विथ योर ऑडियंस शाम भाई ऑपरेट करो एयरपोर्ट 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 आपना बेस्ट, आपने पैशन नहीं है भीतर थे के बोल सें, ये वो प्रेजेंटेशन सार्टिन टेक्स्ट में गुले यूज़ करते हैं, ताहुली ऑडियंस के अटेंशन पर आ जाते हैं। आर ओपन फ्लोर है, आम्रा देखें, आम्रा बोक्तो बदेश में की कोरी, आई डेज देर बा पोडिया में पेच होने चले गए, दैट मींस आमर पावर टके � तादर के हैं हाथ तुलते बोलते हैं एक्टिविटीज़ करते हैं आपे लाइक डे लॉन्ग ट्रेनिंग आपने जोखन करा है एक तो पॉर्पर दिए घूमे जाते जाए तो खौन तादर के विभिन्न एक्टिविटीज़ करा है ये ग्रुप करे फिर एक ग्रुप एकाच करा है सामने नियाची विभिन्न नाराचोरा करा है एक एंगेजमेंट तोड़ी हमारे कथा बोला शो में जो मामलिंग टा हो ये टा मेन रीज़न टा की होते कि इतना की की कारण है हमारे अनेक लोग का कारण है बिकॉज़ हमारा ज्योग्राफी का बैकग्राउंड टा सोशियो बैकग्राउंड टा कुछ एक एक अच्छे इम्पोर्टेंट लाइक आमी जो दी नोआ काली ऑन्सलर होई ना लाइक नोआ काली को मिल फेनी लोखीपुर � जब ना हमरा कौनो पाव बोली ना हमरा हाव बोली जब ना हमरा फानी बोली मतलब हानी बोली पानी के कारण वही टा हमारे धारण टाइ होता सो पागल हुए थे ना कि रेगुलर हागल नहीं करो अब आप अपने जो भी आरेख चुप है तो चिटवाएंगे देखें जन आरेख का धारण कथा बोले सीलेटेड देखें जन आरेख का धारण कथा बोले आपने जो कोल्ड 
আরেকটা ধরনের যেমন খুলনার দিকে চ বলেই না তারা চ কে চ বলে সাসা কি কে চাও আই মিন ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজের প্যাটার্নটা ডিফারেন্ট আপনি যে রাজশাহী চাপায় নবগা দিন দিকে দেন চ কে চ বলে চ কে চ বলে সো প্যাটার্নটা ডিফারেন্ট তো এই যোগ যেমন টোটাল ঢাকা রিজিয়ন যদি মনে করেন যে আমরা কি প্র্যাকটিস করি ঢাকা রিজিয়নের যারা বামেন সিং কুমিল্লা কুমিল্লা থেকে শুরু করে কুমিল্লা বিবারিয়া আর কিশোরগঞ্জ ময়মন সিং টাঙ্গাইল মানিকগঞ্জ এই ঢাকা দোহার এবং ঢাকার মধ্যে পর্যন্ত আমাদের কিছু সমস্যা হলো আমরা অ কে কু বলি চোর কে চুর বলি কোচিং কে কুচিং বলি মানে কই গেছলে কুচিং হয়ে গেছিলাম এই এরকম আর কি যারা চোর কে চুর বলি গোস্ত কে গুস বলি সো সি উই টু হ্যাভ দিস কাইন্ড অফ অ্যাফিলিয়েশন এই জিনিসটা আমাদের এইটা থেকে বের হতে চাইলে এই বায়োলজিক্যাল সাপোর্ট করে না আমাদের এই জায়গাটা ওই রাইট উচ্চারণটা প্রডিউস করতে তো কিভাবে আমরা এটা করব এই জন্যই টাং টিস্টার করে করে মুখের জলটা দূর করতে পারি যে কোনো রাইট উচ্চারণটা কি এটাও তো আগে আমার কাছে আনতে হবে লাইক এই গোটা জিনিসটাকে যদি আমরা একটা একটা মেশিনের মতো চিন্তা করি ওয়ান্স ইউ পুট উইট ইউ ক্যান এক্সপেক্ট আটা ফ্রম দ্যাট মেশিন বাট ইফ ইউ পুট ডাস্ট আপনি কি আটা এক্সপেক্ট করতে পারেন অবশ্যই না তো কান দিয়ে যে রাইট উচ্চারণ না শুনে শুনে আমরা বলতে পারি না এই জন্য আগে তো শুনতে হবে তো আমার ফ্যামিলি ব্যাকগ্রাউন্ড সোশিয়াল ব্যাকগ্রাউন্ড এর কথা আমি এই জন্য বলেছি আমার রিজিয়নাল ব্যাকগ্রাউন্ড এর কথা এই জন্য বলেছি ওই নোয়াখালীর মানুষটা কখনোই প শোনেনি পাগল এই শব্দটা শোনেনি এই জন্য সে হাগল শুনেছে সে হাগলই বলে ঠিক আছে ঠিক তেমনি আপনার এই এই জায়গাটা অর্থাৎ যেটা আমি শুনিনি রাইট উচ্চারণ রাইট আমি বলতে পারছি না এই জন্য আমি যখনই শোনা শুরু করব প্রথমে তাহলে শোনার প্র্যাকটিস করতে হবে আমার মনে আছে আমি যখন আবৃত্তি শিখতে গেছি আবৃত্তি শিখতে যাই আমি উচ্চারণ শিখতে গেছি তো সারোয়ার স্যার ডক্টর সারোয়ার উনি যখন ক্লাস নিচ্ছিলেন আমার মনে আছে আমার তখন মনে হয়েছে তন্ময় হয়ে শুনছিলাম যে এরকম যদি আরো উচ্চারণ শুনতে পারতাম তাহলে মনে হয় আরো বেশি ভালো বলতে পারতাম তো এক দুই তিন চার পাঁচ প্রতিটা শব্দ ভুল উচ্চারণ করতাম এক কেউ বলে এক না এক কোনটা এক একটি আবার একটা এই যে দেখেন দেখা না দেখা মাই গুডনেস এ ঢাকা অঞ্চলের লোকজন এ আর এ প্রবলেম বিভিন্ন বিভিন্ন রকম করতে পারবো যেটা হলো যে আপনার দিচ্ছেন তার উপর বেস করে সেই অনুযায়ী কন্টেন্ট তৈরি হয় ডেলিভারি তো একই রকমের লাইক আমার যদি উচ্চারণের সমস্যা দূর করতে পারি তাহলে যে কোনো প্রেজেন্টেশনে তো আমি আমার এই সমস্যাটা থাকছে না আমার এনগেজমেন্ট ইম্পর্টেন্ট প্রশ্ন করতে পারাটা ইম্পর্টেন্ট গল্প বলাটা ইম্পর্টেন্ট তো এই ডিপেন্ড করছে যখন আপনার এই স্কিলগুলো আপনার ভিতরে হয়ে যাবে আপনি আই কন্ট্যাক্ট মেনটেন করাটা ইম্পর্টেন্ট হ্যান্ড জেস্টারটা মেনটেন করাটা ইম্পর্টেন্ট পেজটা মেনটেন করাটা ইম্পর্টেন্ট মিনিংফুল পজ নেওয়াটা ইম্পর্টেন্ট स्पीकिंग राइट ভালো স্যালারিতে দানবে এই যেমন
জি আর কেউ বলতে চান নুসরাত জাহান নুসরাত জাহান একটা প্রশ্ন করতে যাচ্ছিল নুসরাত জাহান জি করেন নুসরাত জাহান আসসালামু আলাইকুম ওয়ালাইকুম আসসালাম আমার একটা প্রশ্ন হলো যে কথার মাঝে একটা টান আসে যে আঞ্চলিক টান এটা দূর করতে কি মানে কিভাবে করতে পারি প্র্যাকটিস করতে হবে প্র্যাকটিস প্র্যাকটিস এন্ড প্র্যাকটিস আমি একটা एग्जांपल দিতে পারি আমার একজন স্টুডেন্ট ছিল আমার একজন স্যার আমাদের একজন স্টুডেন্ট ছিল আমার ইউনিভার্সিটি থেকে তো সেখানে সে ইংলিশে পড়াশোনা করেছে তারপরে খুব ভালো বলতে পারত स्पीकार छोटा दूरकाम दरकार शब्द इंग्रेजी बोलो ना बोलते अभ्यसा चामा खरच कर चामपोरेटे इंगलिस 
থ্যাংক ইউ স্যার ফর ইউর অপিনিয়ন আসলে আমি আপনি যদি মাইন্ড করেন না আমি আসলে আপনার স্পিচের কোনোটাই মানে ওভাবে ধরি নাই যে আপনি বাংলা ইংলিশ আমি স্পোর্টস আমি জাস্ট শুনে বললাম আমি চাচ্ছি পার্সোনাল লাইফে ওটা খুব বেশি দূর করতে কিন্তু আসলে পারি না দেখা যায় যে ইংলিশটা বলতে স্বাচ্ছন্দ্য বোধ করি কিন্তু ঠিক আছে অবশ্যই থ্যাংক ইউ স্যার থ্যাংক ইউ ফর ইউর অপিনিয়ন আর ইংলিশ নিয়ে ইংলিশের প্রেজেন্টেশন দেওয়ার সুযোগ তো কম হয় এর জন্য আমি বাংলায় দেনি ইংলিশেই দিয়েছি প্র্যাকটিস লাস্ট টাইম সোলতা না আপনি আপনার প্রশ্ন করতে চাইছেন জাস্ট লাস্ট প্রশ্ন এটা मान सामने गुब भगे हाथ पा का कारण सामने जरा बस मन गान बंदुक कारण आ সবগুলো কারণ হলো ম্যান মেড নিজের মনের বানানো কারণ কি কি কারণ যে আমার সামনে যে মানুষগুলো বসে আছে তারা মনে হয় বসে আছে আমার ভুলগুলো ধরার জন্য যে না আমি কতগুলো ভুল করি এটা ধরার জন্য মনে হয় বসে আছে সামনে যে মানুষগুলো বসে আছে তারা মনে হয় একদম নোট করবে যে জামি ভাই সেশন নিচ্ছে কয়টা ভুল করবে এই ভুলগুলো কালকে সোশ্যাল মিডিয়াতে বলবো উনি যে এত বড় বড় কথা বলে मन थे दूर कर सबाप करते चाय टूलिकल चेज उड सैकोलजिकल चेज दूर प्रत्येक विषय फिजिओलजिकल चेन्ज 
দরকার ছিল দেখে নিতে পারেন